Hello, and uh, this is Anywhere But Here. Welcome along. Um, again, not a numbered episode because we're not quite sure when it's going out. Um, that is Automatic by Mooley, and there's a reason for that. If you're not watching the YouTube, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> uh, if you are watching the YouTube, we'll get to, to the that guest in a, in a second. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, yeah. Uh, you can find that, well, I guess Mooley.com, MooleyMusic.com. Um, and we'll probably stick it up on our website as well, which is abhpod.com. Yeah, and we'll link it at the end of the YouTube video as well. Yes. So you can just click on it. Mm. Um, we have an email account. If you want to get in touch with us uh, on email, uh, it's abhpod at gmail.com. It is. We've got a website. I've which mentioned is the website. Not our website. Yeah. abhpod.com. Yes. I didn't hear you say it. I did. Oh, okay. Uh, we've got <laughs> Twitters then, in that case. Yes. Which is, uh, the show Twitter is uh, at abhpod. Mm-hmm. I'm at Hey It's Me Tom. And I've got my own one, which is uh, Hey It's Ant. And we have a Facebook page, Yay. which is uh, obviously facebook.com slash abhpod, uh, where you can drop us all sorts of comments and like our stuff. Make sure you do. Um, on on the uh, on the shows, uh, just give us a like, share our statuses, yeah. thumbs up on the YouTube, yeah. uh, comments that help as well. Yeah, iTunes, iTunes too. iTunes comments. We're we don't there. mention that anymore. No, iTunes comments and ratings would be appreciated. Um, everywhere you can like, you can thumbs up on Stitcher because we're on Stitcher as well. Yeah. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. You just know, help just getting just get in contact and uh, and and show your appreciation. We've had a few comments in the last couple of weeks and uh, you know that's good and we'd just like some more it, it puts our profile up a bit more but anyway without further ado I suppose uh, I'm Tom and I'm <laughs> wow and it's to going my, well and to my right is uh, is Christina Smith from Mooley she, she was is. the lady you just heard singing mm, indeed she was hello hello <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had a guest in so long no actually. no it's been a it's been a long time I think was Ben the last guest I think it was yeah and that was on episode 10 and this is episode 20 something yeah or, or maybe oh, I sit quite lonely in here then sometimes <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, well, we, we kind we've of got talk each to other. each other. We've got yeah. each other. That's all you need. <laughs> it, it is. I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> no. no <laughs> and what no. is what is the best about uh, about you being a guest here is it's our first female guest. The that first, is very it. true. The first yeah. female to be on Anywhere But Here. We were supposed to have one a while ago, but she was hung yeah, over and forgot. Was, yeah. <laughs> I'm not hung over. I am aching, though. Yes. Uh, you were out banging. last night. Head banging. Head banging. Head banging. Yeah. yeah. At the club or... At a pub. At a pub. <laughs> <laughs> I do like my rock music ah, good and stuff. head banging. Good. <laughs> and twisting my head round and round and round. <laughs> but it does kill the next day. Yeah. Yeah, I find I can't do that anymore. Like I yeah. say, it's uh, one of those things that I. It puts I can't me do out it anymore. <laughs> two or three days afterwards. It's I think just, the last time I've done anything like that, moshing wise, was with Tom in Hyde Park for Foo Fighters. Oh, right. Oh. That, was, that was a, that was a long time ago. Mm. The only reason we did that was because there were people doing it in front of us and it was annoying us. Yes. So we joined in to get rid of them. <laughs> and it worked. Idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. I've, I've yet to accomplish doing a mosh pit. I'd love to do one. They do get very violent. Yeah, do I've they? been hit in the nose before. So we right. talked about so it a right. few I'm episodes ago. I can do it. I think Loz <laughs> told oh, no, was... once. What's this? I got experience at least once. Oh. you got to do it once. You got to, you, you have to try everything once, yeah. even if it is getting your nose broken in a mosh pit. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> So, um, yes, so uh, I should have probably written some questions down as opposed to relying on my memory, which is never never the best way to do things. Um, so how are we going to do this? We're going to go... I think... Obviously, the, 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 the big thing at the moment with Mooley is that uh, Automatic, the single that you heard at the beginning of the show there, is it's coming out, out within uh, the next on few the weeks. 19th? 19th of August. There it's you go, out. 19th. Um, and essentially... Christina is now becoming the face and the voice of Mooley in these yeah. interview type situations. Scary. <laughs> ben is putting her out there in ben, the world to ben fend is, for herself. Yeah. 
Ben has left me on my own. How nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> but this is your this is this is easy. This is this is not uh this is not like this you know, isn't proper, an interview. This is not like proper journalism. It's not a this radio is, interview. This <laughs> is the fun stuff. Yeah. yeah you don't this have is to just watch your language. And stuff. Yeah, you Do can I say no. whatever you like, you know. But will Ben let you? Yeah. <laughs> will he let I don't you? know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the single comes out on the 19th of August. It's called Automatic, as I've mentioned. Yeah, um, uh, you would have, if you've listened to uh, uh, anywhere but here for a while, you would have heard it at the end of episode 10 when we yeah. had Ben on. Yeah, we true. Put a little taster of it on um, there. And since then, it's evolved. It's It's gotten it's extra parts and stuff, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, the video is out now. Mm, yeah, yes. That's true. On YouTube of it. And, um, well, it, just the um, views on it are over 50,000 and it's only been up for about two weeks. Yeah, 54,197. Is it now? Is it got on? Oh, yeah, it's here right now. pretty impressive. Yeah. It's just, go- I don't understand what's happened. It's a good it's song. Just, it, That's what's happened. It's a really good video. As well. It's the first, yeah. actually, I shouldn't say that, but it's the first video that Ben hasn't done. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh right. I thought he No, it was, it was done by... Um, Kier, I can't, I can't ever say his name. I'm really sorry if he's listening. <laughs> Kier, I think it is, and mm. um, he, um, that's the, he's a, he obviously does it professionally, music videos. Mm. Mm. And that was the first one. It was quite intimid- intimidating on the day because they were all professional act- actresses. As oh well. right, okay. Because all the rest I'll, has just been kind of you and Ben messing around with the camera in fields and woods yeah. and stuff. around Maidstone. Yeah, yeah, around yeah. Maidstone. Yeah, and Lenham. And Lenham. <laughs> Where, where I'm, well, my mum lives there now. That's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm originally from Dartford. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't know whether I should admit that. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's all right. Mick Jagger's from Dartford, right? <laughs> Is he really? So, yeah. Ben's a little bit fun. He always gets funny about me saying I'm from Ashford. He's oh, like, really? Don't say Ashford. Say Maidstone. <laughs> just say Maidstone. And I'm going. There's nothing wrong with Ashford. It's just a bigger. It's just a bigger version of Lenham. Well, Ashford's got a really awesome athletics track, actually. Mm. Exactly. It's the only place I've ever been in Ashford, to be honest. <laughs> and Ashford International. Yeah. And Ashford the, and International the is a gateway to the world. It, it is. <laughs> ben doesn't see it that way. No. Well, the the band itself is kind of, well, it I is suppose, made stone. Made it's Maidstone-based, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so you were born in Dartford, moved to Ashford. I was born in Gravesend. 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 Oh, right. But okay. lived in Dartford. I don't <laughs> understand what happened there. Lived in Dartford. <laughs> In a little village called New Ash Green. Right. Mm-hmm. Grew up in Lenham. Grew up in Lenham <laughs> and then moved to Ashford. She's done some, uh, done some wandering. <laughs> trying, yeah. to find a trying to find a favourite part of Kent. To but the, <laughs> it's because Lenham's got Maidstone at the, in the address. Ben yeah. seems to it has, yeah. make sure that I say I'm from Maidstone. Right. <laughs> but but I'm a, I am a rebel and I go against <laughs> what Ben says. <laughs> He's going to love this I, He loves. He does love me. He loves me. <laughs> I'm very much like my mum. I'm very much like I don't listen much. I sort of do have it my own way. Mm. I like that. Sound makes me sound like a right diva because I'm very laid back at the same time. But if if I want to say something, I say it. Mm. And why not? It sometimes gets you in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, you got, I think just you got to be honest and true to yourself. That's why I've got it tattooed on my arm. Oh yeah, uh-huh. to my core self, be true. It does get you in trouble though. <laughs> that, is that an extra line going to be on the other arm maybe that's, that's, that's on the left arm my, my grandma it. says unless you're a viking just be a viking though I don't understand it still <laughs> that's profound <laughs> <laughs> I think it probably is it, it confused well, hell out of us so it yeah. must be profound <laughs> she always says it and I'm like okay right. unless I'm a viking it's I'm not a viking though <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so you've been um part of Mooley now for how many years i think it's three years now three, three years. years ben has hid me in the studio for three years mm. um recording the album because of the of it, there was a singer before yes and when he first met me i was 17 so he had a lot of because obviously i wasn't ma- mature enough for mm. this this business mm. and um so he sort of kept me in the studio and been mentoring me Still mentors me, and I go, Ben, you're doing it again. <laughs> you're talking to me like I'm five. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but it's it's all worked out. Right, I now know what he was doing. But he's been yeah. mentoring me, putting me in the studio, and trying to do take me out to London, do a bit of networking, teaching me the business because it's very important to know the business. You can't just be a singer and just sing on a track these days. You have to know the business. You have to network. Yeah. yeah. 
And if you if you want to be a proper singer, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. unless you just go on X Factor and then yeah. they do well, it all you for you, need, you don't need to know the networking side of it. Or anything, you don't need though. to know any of it. They you, you just, have people doing it for you, but then at the same time, you don't get to learn much and you don't get to experience much. And it's very important as an artist to know what's going on around you. I think mm. that's the difference. You use the word artist. If you yeah. want to be an artist, you <clears> need to know the business rather than a singer. It's yeah. you know, it, it's different. I'm, I'm very lucky. I met Ben. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it does seem to be well, paying off. I mean, fifty-four thousand views later, <laughs> kind of seems bad. to know. What he's I, doing, I could it? not have done that without him. No, mm. I mean, because um, he told a story of how he met you on the podcast he was on, um, <clears throat> and it sounded a bit like. Well, he was. He came to the college to what see you sing. Yeah, as a, to support his uh, friend's decision. Um, basically, there was a female. Um, I can't remember what she done. I think. She does dance tracks, like just like gets dance tracks in and then records the vocalist. I don't mm. remember what it was, but she I don't know if she heard from me. My college, which is literally down the road from what well, it's not, it's a care home now, I think. Uh, I think it's a new housing estate, but yeah, they've yeah. knocked it all down and it's now a housing estate. It's good, it yeah. wasn't a very good college course. <laughs> 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 I don't recommend it, well, I can't now, but don't um, mention the college, <laughs> no, <laughs> he um. He um, came as a second opinion for this lady because she was heard, had heard about me and she was interested in my voice because I was very different to what else was going on because it was all rock music and in there there was... Oh, my belly's going to rumble. I'm yes. really sorry. <laughs> I don't think the mics are that sensitive. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but um, he came as a second opinion for this lady and then she... They came to the college and I sung with my, I think my tutor was playing piano for me and I sung a Lucy Silver song and I thought I'd won her heart over and um, she was going to help me. She promised me all these things that mm. was, that she was going to do for me and um, then because I was 17, I hadn't learnt to drive. I wasn't, I was very, well my dad's quite protective mm-hmm. um, but also at the same time would let me wonder but he always said from day one singing's not going to get you anywhere don't do it please it was like beg me please don't do it but he came as um she wanted me to go to her house after that because she said she was interesting uh, interested and promised me all these things and then um my dad drove me to her house because i had no other way of getting there and just because he was there i found it out through ben afterwards um she wasn't interested she didn't like the fact my dad came and she couldn't really oh, really? do it. And then I heard nothing back from her. Well, I think she texted me saying something about, oh, November, I'll have something for you. And then after that, I heard nothing. And it's ben, kind of a blessing in disguise, really, though, isn't it? Because yeah, if that didn't happen, then... I wouldn't have met Ben. No. Ben got very <laughs> angry with the situation and helped me out, like, recording my own music, which was really depressing. <laughs> no one needs to hear that. <laughs> um, I, he helped me record a few of my own things and we built up this really good friendship and um, he's, he's always out to help anyone. If anyone wants help, he's always helping people. He it's is. quite annoying sometimes. I'm like, stop. You're Just do to be something for me. yourself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and me, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he, um, I forgot where I was now. Because he was saying that, yeah, like the this producer or whoever she Person. was like um she i don't want to say her name because she no, just doesn't no, no, deserve any no, that's sort of fair enough no that's cool um she didn't like the fact that your dad started asking questions yeah. like what i don't she even remember him doing. asking questions something like that it was but probably the, something that just didn't i just think it's just because he yeah. was there but she, i was only 17 mm. well, yeah. i was a baby yeah i mean you need you need some support don't you <laughs> yeah, you, you know, understand yeah. it's quite protective mm. i think that was it for my dad though i think he was like no you're not doing this yeah, it's that whole thing, You're I suppose, where like it's a dream being shattered, isn't it? Kind yeah. of thing, and he doesn't want to see you get hurt anymore. But yeah. then, like you say, ben, I have I have had quite a few like disputes with my dad over it, but because if he was very against me singing, but then Ben sort of sees it from his side, my dad's side, like mm. he is being protective. Different. It's understandable because it's not not an easy thing to get no, into, is it? He no. just said it's not realistic, and I don't want you to to get hurt. But obviously, I just, I really, I've always wanted to be a singer. There's mm. nothing else I wanted to do. Mm. And I knew that from day one. I knew that from the day I came, actually, I can't say that, can I? Mm. It's like, the day I came into this world. <laughs> yeah. I knew, that I, there, I knew that I was a singer. The first time I went on stage, remember. I think the first time I went on stage was when I was about three. Oh, right. And I sung, I think, ABBA, Thank You For The Music. Right. 
my dad's a big Habba fan. <laughs> Mine was, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, so yeah, was that where you kind of do, what what did you do to kind of when when did you start kind of becoming um, a, a, well, a singer, becoming you know becoming this artist? It probably was in college. Mm-hmm. I learned that because um, the first time I sung in college, I was, um, I, I've told you this story. You I'll us, tell you this you story again. Told. Yeah. Um, Basically, when I first started music college, I had just obviously come fresh out of school. I had fake Chanel earrings on, <laughs> this silky, luminous pink um, tracksuits that were in, and um, obviously like the little, um, I think I was wearing white shoes. I can't remember what they were called. Though. Like the what, trainers or really, shoes? No, shoe. They were like, oh, I can't they were a little bit jabby. No. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, and I had... Um, orange skin and bleach blonde hair and I remember walking into this classroom and of all these boys with long hair they obviously didn't care about hygiene and things like that they were proper, <laughs> proper boys and um I walked into class and I just went uh oh and um they tested me and they on that day you had to perform a song and they tested me and they just threw this song at me because they thought oh she's not gonna know that because she's probably into like pop and r&b and things and then um, they threw coldplay fix you at me and i did not know the song mm-hmm. and um because of the ending i think i sung completely different but when um i think they were all picking on me and i heard whispers all day like just behind my back i heard, felt this thing and then i started singing the, um fix you and the, everyone's mouth just dropped right mm. and i think from that moment i was like i can do this Mm. no one can stop me from doing this if I can do that to change people's minds just like that about me because then everyone started talking to me after that yeah you kind of proved yourself I proved myself and um I went on to um doing rock music after that I think I did a lot of gigs in my college and then I started my own rock band um which oh it was was the most amazing band in the world (laughs) it really was it was a bit like a bit paramour but me obviously me yeah. like change and it was a little bit more funky um it was called hibiscus as in the flower i know that hibiscus. name so i'm sure we were friends with hibiscus on myspace we was you we were actually yeah. yeah yeah it was the best band in the whole entire world i've watched videos of hibiscus have you yeah i'm that's sure strange that's weird sorry that just kind of went whoa <laughs> yeah it was wow. it was it um but obviously for money reasons mm. and obviously actually I won't say that <laughs> the guitar- guitarists are quite hard to um, to control sometimes right okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I'm, I'm gonna keep quiet over here then. yeah you but guitarists <laughs> who's the guitarist out of you two him yeah they're hard work and he was the singer yeah. Singers are hard work singers as well. Are. But then guitarists say singers are hard work. The problem with guitarists and singers is they both want to be the front man, I think. That's, yeah. A lot of guitarists want to show. I wasn't... You weren't a show. I was never a lead really, guitarist, no. No. even though I was the only guitarist. But <laughs> Well, the, the first guitarist left um, the band because he felt, I think he felt quite a lot of strain as well because mm. um, he'd done quite a lot of the work. So on his behalf, it was quite hard. And then the second guitarist, um, I think everyone... He, he he was he is the most amazing guitarist I've mm. ever, ever known, but it was also quite a lot of money to fund because obviously I was the only one that was driving, so I yeah, have to keep yeah. I have to keep driving. I can't remember where it is. It's a bit past here. I have to keep driving from there to Ashford, and then I had to drive pick everyone up and take them to the gigs. And it was quite a lot of strain. And obviously working at the same time full time. We're all young. We're all trying to work and find money. Yeah, it we just know that sort well. it just yeah. sort of died out in the end and mm. I, I, there was a quite a lot of tears because it well it was the most amazing band in the world and I, um, I, I've always said one day I will bring it back yeah. when I've got when I've got enough money to fund it this is when Mooley's done it, everything though <laughs> done everything you can I'm going to be like Dave do. Grohl right yeah. I'm going to be a Dave Grohl and I, I will experiment with Lots different bands side projects and yeah. stuff right oh well, that's good to hear Cause you just uh, want to perform <laughs> I just want to perform, my, but my my heart is with rock music. That's like Ben's with the beginning with Mooley. Mm. I remember it, it was very chilled out, and it, st- it was still stuck in that <coughs> chilled out vibe. And I um, putting quite a lot of effects on my voice, like a, I think Frozen. Have you heard Frozen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it was still quite the old Mooley, 
And um, if you listen to the new stuff, like there's a new song called Firewall, Ben has wrote that song for me, whereas I yeah. feel like Frozen was wrote for Clea, the old song, yeah, the yeah. old singer, because when I learnt the song, it was with Clea's vocals. Oh, okay. <coughs> so it was an old demo version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, so okay. it was something they had unfinished, it was unfinished work from them. And all the new stuff is has got a rock touch to it. Mm-hmm. So I, do you have an input in the songs then? Um, in the writing? Of in them? the writing. Ben, what, what happens is is a little bit like... Uh, go with the flow but Ben writes the structure writes the lyrics and then we go through it and when we sing because obviously he doesn't when he sings it it's always going to be completely different when it's a female vocalist yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we do cha- change it around I say Ben this sounds better and all the ad libs and everything and the vocal everything to do with the vocals is me apart from the lyrics mm. I've wrote lyrics for Ben there's a super dry track that I wrote uh, I wrote the lyrics to one bit of it and then Ben wrote the other but how oh, should I say it? I don't have much... I didn't have much time to do part of the writing. So when I... With Hibiscus, it was quite nice when I started Mooley that I didn't have to write the songs. Yeah, yeah. Because of... It was... It, it, where I didn't know where to fit it in because I've also worked full time mm-hmm. and um, was doing... I think some, I was doing other bands as well at the same time and I was like, I can't... I just can't do it anymore. And then um, when Ben sort of took that lead... I was like, oh, this is really good because I just literally go to Ben's house and do networking and things like that and he takes that control of the songs. Obviously, now I've quit my job for Mooley. Mm. I, he wants me to write now. Because this, so is, I've got this it, is full-time now. This it's, is a full, it's a full-time job now. You've actually got the time to write now. Though, I've got so time to write. It, so it won't so be as stressful. It won't be as stressful, but because I know Ben, he's always encouraged me because I used to write songs all the time. With Hibiscus, I wrote all the songs. Mm. But it was just having the time and when you go to work every day all you want to write all you've got in your mind is I hate this job mm. so it's hard to write yeah. a song <laughs> and I think most of the songs were about I hate I hated my manager <laughs> I, I hated the work I why do I have to do this when I know what I want to be I want to be a singer why have I got to do this that's a good thing with rock music it can be very hate filled <laughs> yeah Whereas oh I, yeah I, you can get away with it yeah that's what I liked about Hibiscus. I think I wrote a song about... I think it was a backstabber. <laughs> I think I wrote a song about... Um, someone I went out with that was a girl. Acted more like a girl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so just, is, a is, is, song is, about a lady, like a parent, um, not doing her job. Right. <laughs> right. as a mum and <laughs> drinking a lot and um, yeah just quite, most of the songs were quite angry mm. but so fun at the same time yeah there's one called Cider Spider Cider Spider and it was about um, someone that drank too much cider <laughs> that's the brilliant thing about rock music it can be so simple concepts yeah. no, we, no, um, I told him it's going to eat them up <laughs> <laughs> We had, we had a song about why Jeffrey the giraffe disappeared from the Toys R Us adverts. Yeah. And Do you know what though? When you sing songs like that with interesting catch, it get, 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 like capt- captivates the audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone's I'm, like, oh my God. well, that one was a bit actually, risky. No, we actually we, stopped yeah. playing. It. <laughs> I know, I know a, um, an artist, and he doesn't get enough respect for what he does. I, I think he's Ashford based, and his name's Dan Blood, and. Do you ever heard of Dan Blood? I know, I, I recognise the does name. Quite a it's lot probably of, one of those names. So. He's gone into, I think, photography now for bands and video in videos, and he's just so talented. He sung Wheels on the Bus, mm. his own version of it, and I was mesmerised. And it's, <laughs> I find it, I'm quite critical with other bands. Like, if I go and watch a band, it has to, I'm, it's quite hard know? for me to, pl- to please me. It's quite mm. hard, because I think, oh, I've heard it before. Done. I heard it before. I well, don't we know. won't tell you the name of them. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you've got some about giraffes, I'll be interested. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> there was a. There was. It was a bit. Um... Jeffrey the giraffe. He was the face of a children's toy yeah, store, and I turned him into a. Peter is this to- <laughs> Toys R Us? This is Toys R Us, then. Yeah, Jeffrey yeah. the Giraffe, Toys R Us, yeah. yeah. And Tom because you live of- right next to Toys R Us, yeah. It no, came we didn't at the time. No, not at the time. No, um, it's just that you would pass it, and he's not on the and signage some- anymore. He is now, I think. He's back. I think they've brought him back, but out I don't think that was anything. To I think he's out of therapy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I basically <laughs> accused him of uh, of being a paedophile. Um, <laughs> 
I was drunk when we I were wrote it. <laughs> we were a pop punk band. Yeah. That's what you have to You've got to make people laugh. Yeah, totally. And we failed on that one. We played it at an all ages event. A lot of people event. liked it. Yeah, people did like did it. Did we I mean, play the thing all is, ages? Yeah, we played it at that outdoor gig at the Wharf, didn't we? And it got uh, no reception at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, I think it's everyone's liking it and they're enjoying it because it's a nice bouncy tune. Yeah. And then the last line. And then the last line kind of killed it. <laughs> what was the last line? Was it quite... You dirty fucking paedophile. <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. Yeah. It doesn't go was down Was there kids well. around? Um, I don't think there were, no, but I, I don't think it was think the blocks so, of it flats was, and stuff yeah, behind us. Yeah, and stuff yeah. Like it was that. a bad choice. To, to have played we didn't it, play it uh, we didn't that. play it ever again after that I don't think uh, the, 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 the actual structure of the song was quite good it was nice yeah. and bouncy and happy and that was the thing I kind of it was uh, it was a juxtaposition <laughs> but um, yeah <laughs> the less said about it the better probably ben, I think Ben should stick to um, most of the song right now I think he's got more meaningful lyrics whereas my like my well, I, I think all that comes I'm, with practice though that's the thing I'm quite random though. I like random lyrics, whereas he's quite like I had a song called Cold Tea. Right. And it was literally about if you leave something for too long and don't sort the, your problems out, sort of thing, the tea goes cold. That's a really good metaphor. Get, and you don't though. get to drink mm. your That's a really you thought provoking song the though. That's quite good. As but long as it's handled we, right. we are completely different with songwriting. Mm. But obviously, if you mix the two, I reckon it could be really interesting. I, yeah. I'm really excited about... Well, I'm actually... I know, the Most of the first album now is is written, mm. but I'm really excited about the second album. The first <laughs> album's not even come out, but I'm really excited because I know that I've got a lot to give and I mm. know that it's going to be really interesting with me and Ben. I mean, mixing. it is. I mean, Ben played us one of the tracks. I can't remember which track it was, what the name of it was. I can't remember the name of it. Now but he played us one track... <laughs> Um, from the album and it was amazing like yeah. we were both sat there like this massive he's grins got, he's on our faces he's such a good song he's such a mm. good song it makes me feel a little bit because obviously Ben's had so much experience actually make, made me feel a bit like oh I need to sit back because mm. if, he, if I, I say oh what about this and he'll say what about this and I go oh my god that's so much better than what I just said <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like you say it kind of comes with experience though and, and time and the, I suppose now that you are being brought into it more prominently. If, if you had to write a song, because like, li- listening to... Oh God. I thought you didn't want to play games. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, looking at Ben's like track record, he's wrote X Factor singles for yeah. Europe. Mm. He's wrote for Beverly Knight and yeah. he's wrote for all these people. And then you've got to write a song and he wants you to write a song. And I was like, really? Well, yeah. Really? Where do you I'm, start? Where do I start? Thing, and yeah. it, I, I, I'm still learning to sort of... Because there's still like things with Ben that I still feel like I have to sit back on because of I know for a fact he'll cut. He's better than me. <laughs> he's a, he's a complete and utter really weirdo professional. <laughs> he's a talented guy. He is so he is, yeah. He's really talented, but I don't want don't talk too much though because he's already got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> We need we need to work on my head. I need well, yeah, I precisely. need a little bit more. But this is and this is this is the reason that <coughs> I suppose he wants you to take over all the PR stuff and also start to write stuff because then that gives you more confidence and your writing will get better, won't it? I just yes, need I to get back what I had in Abyssus because when, obviously when I had something that amazing mm. that I had created and then to lose it, it did knock me back. Yeah. I didn't sing for I think about two two years in between. Yeah, it's, no, that's the same actually. When we stopped in the it band, sucks, I, yeah. I've only just started picking my guitar up again. That's yeah, like three or four I, years. Um, I stopped playing bass entirely for ages until recently. Yeah, yeah. And then we made a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it no. makes you so much happier though when you. I, I just went into a bit of a downer because of like my life without singing is horror. I hate it. Mm. I don't feel. I don't feel unique. I don't feel like I'm me. I don't feel. But yeah, it's part of you. I don't like blending in. Mm. I don't. I don't like being. I hate normality. I hate it. You just want to be someone who stands I, out. I just, yeah. But I think I've always had that. Like, if there's silence in the room, I'm always the first one to like shout. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> See, I think that's the difference. If there's silence in a room, I want to shout, but I'm too scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'd I, on, in school. I'd always be the the person that say things like random things just to get people talking i'd come out with um why aren't blueberries green or something like that 
As I just that that was a really bad example. But, <laughs> Asking the important question. But I just just to get people talking. Mm. I, I don't want to be. I don't just, just don't like. I'm not person to blend in. I say they'd be called green berries then, though, wouldn't yeah. they? That's why blueberries are green. <laughs> See, I got you talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking about things yeah. in a different way. <laughs> so um, it's it's a dawn. It's an it's a, this is like a new a new. Uh, chapter in 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 your life now, and it's Ben Ben, well, without Ben, I probably mm. it was well, he was the one that made me want to sing again. Yeah, he had he, he even had a word with my dad, I think. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Because I remember. Right, like, stop telling her she well, can't do it. Well, all, these, all Ben's really got to do is like platinum album. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's going to be all right. Yeah. But um, my um, I remember um. Well, I didn't. I just didn't want to. I wanted to sing again, but I didn't know how to. And I think it was bit when obviously he was looking for a new singer. I was just. I did in my pride. I was like, I am not going to beg for this. I sh- mm. I do not want to beg. But I was very close friends. He wanted a singer guitarist mm. <clears throat> and someone that's chilled out. And I was when I first met Ben. I wanted to sing like Mariah Carey and God knows what. It's awful. Right. It was awful. No, the old Mariah Carey. Not yeah, the, the old Mariah, Mariah Carey, Carey, not the new one. Not the shrieky I don't Mariah like, Carey. No. Um, and um, I forgot my... I was at Sorry. Reserve again. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's, the, he's the person that made me want to like get into it again. And it, and when he asked me to be the singer of Mooley, I slightly wanted to cry. But at the same time, I was like, my pride again. I was like, I will not cry in front of this man. Still to this day, I think I cried a little tiny bit in front of him. Mm. But still today, to my pride, because he's always like trying to make me this strong person. It's like, you are strong. You can do this. You can do that. I never want to cry in front of him. <laughs> well. I, ne- I just, I felt like that would just break down <laughs> everything. So I'm a strong person and I am a re- rebel. <laughs> 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 but um, it, it was a complete changeover. But with I wouldn't probably, I, I sometimes think back would i be singing now if without ben because mm. were you he gave um, me that confidence and to because it, it feels so out of reach yeah right. and he made it feel like it was in reach and then when he my dad was against it and then they disappeared and they were speaking and I, they went to go and have a little chat and then they come back and all of a sudden my dad was supporting me <laughs> and i was like how do you do it i wonder he what can change said. people's minds and I, he's, can, I can believe he's got he does have that sort of well, he's quite, he needs he's to like, very, be a therapist or he's something. He's very positive, isn't he? He's quite positive yeah, about things. Actually, very. Was this, when we spoke a lot after the podcast and you were saying stuff mm. about what was going on, he was just like... Yeah, yeah. He was like really kind of... And you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. He has got this kind of way of being able to... That's what gives it, me the. He, that's what gives me my confidence. Mm. That's why he's told me I have to do things on my own now because yeah. I rely on him too much. But he gives he's just so full of confidence to the point where I I rely I rely on him because he's that confident. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I've got Ben. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. have you got? Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna you, hear this, isn't he? And I'm yeah. really like, yeah, oh, embarrassing. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> were you aware of Mooley before he? Yeah. Um, um. He. Well, it's Ben we're talking about. Like when I first met him, he any mention for Mooley his project he'd mm. oh. be in there he'd tell so, me about it he'd want me I think I, I didn't I didn't actually ever meet Clea properly I think she was in the living room and she he went oh this is Clea he always introduced people mm. which I'm not very good at but he's like this is Clea this is Christina and I just remember her waving at me and that's that's about it that's mm. all I ever met of her but he'd always play mu- the Mooley music to me he'd always go oh this is our new project and he'd always he's quite good at and I yeah, I did listen to the Concubine album mm. in my car quite a lot, and I do have it on my iPod. Mm. I think I've got it as a Spotify playlist. Yeah. It's a it's a very good album. It's quite chilled and like down, but at the same time, it makes you happy. Yeah, it's a bit like Coldplay. A, a bit like Coldplay. It's down yeah. music, but it makes you happy. Yeah, we had this problem good. when we were talking with Ben trying to <clears throat> describe Concubine, yeah, but it's, it's really hard. It's uh, it's kind of cross genres because it's down tempo, but it's got uh, uh, positive messages. But also, there's a lot of political stuff in there as well. Yeah. Like he seems. That's to when. Uh, that's what I mean. Like political, the political side of it. Ben's really good at writing lyrics. But yeah. I'm not very good at political side. I'd write about, well, your tea going cold. Cold tea, yeah. Cold tea. Yeah, but I think but Ben Ben writes for people. The sort of lyrics he would write are like 
for people around his age group sort of thing and the stuff you're yeah. writing about you will relate to people of your age group mm. he has started writing songs and i don't know if he does it like psychologically but he I, he has started writing songs that probably would come from my perspective right he's knowing what he's working with that's yeah. the thing mm. and like firewall i feel like because of he i don't know if it was but he dropped a hint he was like because i had a horrible ex-boyfriend he went um when you sing this sing it like you're singing to him mm. okay. and i was like hmm <laughs> The frown. What? Yeah. And then I was looking at the lyrics and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of captured it. Yeah. So I don't know if he, I don't know if he meant to do it or not, but I was like, he's starting to write songs for me, I think. Mm. Well, I suppose I, now uh, through all the mentoring and stuff, he's got a, a really good idea of who you are as a person. So maybe yeah. that's, that helps. He yeah. also listens to criticism. Right. He takes he does take all criticism on board and obviously when he met me I'm a completely different artist to what he's used to. Mm. He was like clear, he's quite chilled out. Um like Beverly Knight's quite um free flowing with vocals whereas I was young and didn't really know what direction I Do was. You need a little bit more kind of uh prodding <laughs> like sing it like this or uh does no, he... no, I'm a one. I'm normally what well, I used to be when I did, when I was very in hibiscus. I was a one take person. Yeah, it took one take, and like hibiscus, when I recorded that, them few songs, it was done in one take, mm. and that everyone was amazed. But um, I was just a little bit like uh, powerful. Mm-hmm. I was very powerful, but I didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, like so controlling, controlling, uh, uh, controlling it, and it. getting a bit of a like a compromising somewhere because mm. I remember when I when I first started he was like sing breathy sing breathy I was like I don't want to sing breathy it gives me head rush <laughs> <laughs> I just want to sing powerfully but then he has but he ignored that for a while and now like automatic that's the voice that I like singing in right and firewall is the voice I like singing in mm. that's, think... that's my voice but it took him what two years to yeah. understand that that's what I want to do, like putting the key up on the songs, don't mm. put them down too low because clear sings a lot lower than what I do. I yeah. go a lot higher. Mm. So it's quite a lot of learning about each other and Well this is it, I suppose as much as he was mentoring you, he was also learning yeah. as like well. someone if someone says at a gig you need to put the key up on that song, he'll go home and he'll take that on board and he'll do that. Right. And now every song he's like, Should we go higher? Should we go higher? Do you wanna go higher? <laughs> and I'm like, Oh my God. Trying to find your upper limit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God's sake. Trying to find how far you can push it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what is um what's uh the mentoring process like? What what is it that you? Because obviously you were working well, full time as well. Yeah. Well, I went. I think I did like hours. Like I had to get up at five in the morning, and then I know. <laughs> and sometimes Ben would take me to London, and he wouldn't get me back because he talks a lot. Yeah. He wouldn't get me back until like I'd get I get to Ashford about two in the morning, and I have to get up for five, and then go home uh, I think I finished I finished work at two o'clock mm. and then I'd go to Ben's maybe or after and he just talks to me all the time mm. he's talking I didn't realize and like it took a while to catch on he's actually mentoring me yeah every word he says like if I say something he'll he'll make me look at what I just said in a different perspective and so a lot of growing up was involved like mm like everyone my age is doing different things to me and sometimes I feel like I'm missing out but he's like why do you want to be like everyone else you need you this is a singing career this is completely yeah, different yeah. you need to stop get your like your mind everything it's not mm. that's just one out of a, probably a thousand things he's mentored me on but um some now, but now I know when he's doing like I Ben please just shut up yes <laughs> You feel like you've learned enough at this point. <laughs> yeah, if we, get, if we get on the subject of my dad, I go like a um, the Kilburn festival we just done. And mm. um, he bought him the paper, and I was like, my dad will not be interested in the paper. I'm telling you now. And um, he's like, he will. Your dad does care. He will. And I was like, it's not saying he doesn't care. He will not be interested in that paper. And he was like, look, you need to put things in front of people so they see the seriousness. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll put it in front of him. Yeah, I didn't. 
<laughs> so that's the, the rebel. <laughs> so you but he just know. sees like input, like things phys- like physically in front of you, and seeing things in front of you is more important than just saying it. Like on, oh, um, I've got a paper. Do you want it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so you put it in front of him. He's like, show people because my parents are busy people. Right. So a bit like me in the shop, it's hard to. It's not they don't care. It's like it's just like it's just that you just. Once you've once you're at home from work, you just don't want to do anything else. Yeah. So if if I want them to be interested in my music, he's saying that I have to make that little bit of extra effort and I have Mm. to take it to them. I suppose that's the same for anything, though, isn't it? It's like if you're promoting a single or you're promoting uh, an album, you've got to physically like you've got to be like as enthusiastic about it as possible. There's a there's a friend, my my best friend, and um, I was talking to her the other day, and she was like as long as you can go for lunch or something once a week together. And I told Ben that and he was like, no. <laughs> he was like, some weeks, you don't, he went, don't get into a routine. You can't be in a routine in this, this career. He went, mm. it, some weeks you're not going to have time to sleep. He's like, you can't say, oh, I'll see you once a week because you know for a guarantee you're going to let that person down. Yeah. So it's like mentoring me, like t- putting me in my place all the time. It does get, it makes me angry sometimes. <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, he's so right, but I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I suppose the thing is with it being an actual serious career is that it becomes your life, doesn't yeah. it? And I, I suppose it's Every, the same people way. People get annoyed which, with me because they don't yeah. see. They, I don't see much of people. Right. I do not. Even I don't even know how I fitted in work now mm. because of, since I've finished work, I've not stopped. How long have you not? been doing the day job two um, weeks just two weeks two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> sounds like it's been forever you know <laughs> it do- seriously and it's it, you lose a whole routine that you had mm. you it becomes 24 yeah. 7 job like I, i'm emailing people at like half two in the morning right and i'm thinking i should go to bed i used to go to bed at 10 o'clock <laughs> i need to go to bed and then i'm texting ben. ben's the only person awake at that time <laughs> But I have to catch up with my things because there's other things you have to do in a day and I don't know how people physically fit everything like in a day because I've Mm. got housework to do as well. (laughs) How do you fit that in? (laughs) If you're never home I've got to wait for phone calls and I'm like, if I put, I can't do the hoovering without the music on. (laughs) But I've got to wait for a phone call. But the hoovering needs to be done. (laughs) And it's just a completely different way of life. I think you're going to have to start getting staff. Yeah. I did say the other day, I said I need a receptionist and I know, and I do know how Ben feels now. Because mm. Ben's phone, email, text, oh, phone call, phone, email, text, phone call. And then an email will lead up to probably about f- five other jobs. Right. And then, then, then them jobs will add on jobs and then yeah. them jobs add on jobs. And then you've, then you've somehow got to do a music video and do record the rest of the album and finish the album. And you're like, Where? Where do you fit it all in? It is it's, crazy. Yeah. So if I had added the shop onto or work onto that, I don't know what how I would have done it. So it's a good it's a good timing because we've got a PR company now, right. um, mm. called Quite Great, and they are quite great. They are quite great. <laughs> they they are, they've been amazing. They've taken a load of the work. They've taken a load of work, and they've also given me a lot of work. Oh, okay. <laughs> like uh, magazine interviews and things, and there was an interview that I had to do, and it. Because I haven't typed since school, like a lot, like or like I type lyrics or poetry. Because that's it. I'm very interested in lyrics and poetry. I'm not interested in like story books and things like that. I've always just been poetry and mm. lyrics. I've, I've been interested in. So that's all I'd write a page of lyrics, and um, now I've got to do 120 words for like 10 questions. <laughs> I had a migraine by the end. And Ben was like, "You need to get used to this. It's it's not going to happen overnight, but it's gonna it's gonna take time. But there's all these things, and that took me like, nearly a whole day to do <laughs> all of this because you want to be a singer. Yeah, yeah but well, this see, that's what I mean. You can't just be a singer these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 people don't see it, do they? Like, there's so much extra work that goes into it. Like when it's a career, um, and all anyone ever really sees is the shiny video and the, I don't know how Ben done it without me now I feel a bit sorry <laughs> I'm not going to say sorry though <laughs> you just did so you no, 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 I, I take that back <laughs> <laughs> but he does talk a lot though he talks a lot that's like some things you don't need to talk about <laughs> that makes me sound really scatty doesn't it 
But it seems like you like stalk a lot as well. No, I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, when That's we why first I always realise I'm Ben because like, like, I'm, not, I'm not a talker. Maybe it's because she doesn't get to talk a lot well, with yeah, Ben. Maybe. Yeah, she's is talking it a lot because, now. Yeah, Ben does all the talking, so now it's like, this is it. This is my platform. I have energy now. <laughs> I do, like, I didn't have energy before to talk. Like, yeah. I think that the sh- I've done a showcase for the Kilburn Festival, and um, before, I think I'd had no sleep at, at all. That whole week, I had about 10 hours sleep. Mm. And, um, I think less than that and um, I'd done work in the morning and the evening before I did 2 till 10 mm. and that was illegal I did 2 till 10 in the evening and then I did half 5 in the morning till 2 and Ouch. then I did the had to go to London straight to Ben's and then straight and I got locked out of my house <laughs> and I headbutted the window <laughs> <laughs> because I was thinking can anything else go wrong and I was like extreme tired like and um got to eventually I got to Ben somehow and then I had to go and do this showcase and um I was going to Ben I'm gonna go uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this I I'm gonna go sleep I was going and I don't, I don't do drugs no at all I don't I don't touch them and um or alcohol apart from Jack Daniel sometimes <laughs> 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 but um I was like I need drugs. I need drugs. And Ben was like, no. <laughs> that helped you. But I, was like, sink. I, was, I was close to collapsing. And well, somehow the adrenaline rush kicked in, literally when they said Mooley. Mm. Yeah. And then it kicked in. But that's how tired I used to be. Yeah. It sounds like you have a lot of adventures with Ben, though. There was one. Ben's was it just, ben is nothing but an event, adventure. He put out a tweet about getting a lift home in a police car. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's what I mean. When when I worked in when I worked full time, and then dealing with Ben because Ben he's quite scatty. We're both scatty together. It's quite it is an adventure, but he he takes time. Everything takes time. He talks to people, and he also so every now and then gets me lost in the middle of nowhere in his woods. <laughs> <laughs> and if I had work the next day, I would be screwing at him. I'd be like, mm. you told me where, you knew where you was going. He did tell me. But then when we, as soon as we turn around to go back on the other way, oh, I feel a little bit um, disorientated. <laughs> disorientated? <laughs> Is that what you call it? <laughs> didn't know where he was. He said, don't take me somewhere where you don't know where you're going. Cause <laughs> <laughs> and then luckily we saw a police car and I don't like approaching people. I was like, Ben, go, and go to the police car. And he went, um, we're lost. And uh, we were miles away. Right. And what, I, were you, what were you there for? Well, there was too much traffic. It was when I was... Like, there's, I can't remember what... I don't know what... M- M25. Mm. Oh, yeah. It was about... I think when we finished rehearsals, because we were in Surrey doing rehearsals, um, when we finished, we looked at the traffic and on the M25 and Ben was like, as you do, should we go for a walk and wait for the traffic to um, die down? And I was like, oh, no. I don't want to walk. I do enough walking as it is. And um, (laughs) he was like, no, just chill out. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. And I was like, Ben, I really don't want to go for a walk. And um, we ended up going um, going to this National Trust Park. And he went, why don't we go back a different way how we came to make it more interesting? (laughs) Seems like a good idea. (laughs) And I was like, only if you come quite bossy with him. I was like, only if you know the way back. And he's like, yeah, it's just down here. (laughs) About... I think we were walking for over an hour (laughs) and it was getting dark and the police actually told us um, that people have suffered from pneumonia. They they found people like you can catch pneumonia, but obviously it's lucky it's in this weather, in the winter, Mm. people have caught pneumonia, people have got lost. There's some people, I can't remember what they said, where they lose their memory. What's it called? My Alzheimer's. 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 There's oh, right. people, there's a care home near there and they oh, have Alzheimer's. Right. If they get out and they get lost in there, they, they have regulars. They said that <laughs> they they said that it's a nightmare in the woods because everything looks the same. There's big houses. Like I thought I knew where I was going because I, all I knew was follow the cars and um, the, the sound of the motorway and try and find a bridge. <laughs> and I found a bridge, but it was a bridge completely the next bridge along. <laughs> So everything looked different and I was going uh, and there was a dead end and I was like, Ben, this doesn't look... That's where we found the police cars. <laughs> and they drove you back, did they? Yeah, and I told them to be musicians because they're not happy in their job. 
And if you're not happy in jobs, take up music. I said, just be a musician. I said, it's, it's, it's easy. I said, I work full time. I've quit. It's, it's fun. You get lost in woods. It's easy. The stories you've been telling and you say it's easy. It's so easy. <laughs> it's it's what I want to do. So it is. Yeah, I think it's if you easy, love what you're doing. It's fun. Mm. If I didn't want to do this, I probably would struggle to find yeah. the motivation. But it's, I've waited so long to be in this situation like this situation that I'm in and you just grab it by the balls don't you <laughs> exactly <laughs> grab it by the balls and uh, obviously so I, I enjoy it so I don't mind 24-7 doing it apart from yesterday head banging but that, <laughs> that was, that was just go, related, that wasn't was work related but no. I, I, I am feeling the tiredness <laughs> I am feeling it so um, you've got a uh, a big festival coming up soon as well. Create festival yeah, create in my festival. hometown, mm-hmm. Ashford. Ashford. <laughs> Not Maystone. <laughs> so. Not Maystone. Well, it, Ben hasn't got um, a Maidstone festival for us, but I'm quite proud that I got the Ashford festival. And this was this. He'll was laugh when he hears that. Oh, you booked it, did you? <laughs> yeah, one. I booked this one because if he told me that I need to start doing more, and mm-hmm. I was like, okay, then I'm going to get the Ashford festival, and he was like, okay, then. And I got it, and I was so proud of myself. And I was like, hmm, so why have you not got Maidstone Festival? <laughs> <laughs> if Maidstone's this big and amazing place. Well, that's the Maidstone Fringe, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. I think that's the only... That's about it. That's the only festival They used got. to be Green Fair, didn't they, in Moat Park? Yeah. But that's kind of gone by. That. You've got right. River Festival. Peace One Day yeah. used to be a thing, but not anymore. Um, the River Festival, yeah. I think he's, he yeah. mentioned. Oh, right, oh, yeah. That? No, is that cancelled as well? I don't know. There was a thing last year. Cancelled? Festival's kind of, cancelled? Yeah, because of the safety, people jump in the river and oh. catch Riles disease and yeah. all sorts of nice. nasty stuff. People get too drunk and stuff. Yeah, this Ashford one anyway. Sorry, yeah, you, you yeah. were just talking about so, it's, it's a big thing. I've got nothing against Maidstone. <laughs> but I, when, in my teenage years, when I went out clubbing that's where I went that's that's now how I see Mason it is mm. a great place to go nightlife out there is amazing yeah yeah it is and it, it has it's an amazing place to shop but I just wouldn't want to live there <laughs> it's the same as I wouldn't want to live in London either because it's um, I've been I come from New Ash Green which is a village to Lenham which is mm. a village yeah. and Ashford is my perfect big village Right, and that's how I see it. And I am probably trying to sound like I'm justifying Ashford <laughs> <laughs> because it's not fine. many people like it. But Ben is always picking on me for Ashford because I live in Ashford. <laughs> it's like a big bicker we have. Right, Ashford's all that's, right, isn't it? that's the one. But thing. he makes out like it's like death. I don't really know a lot about Ashford. <laughs> no, though, so. I've never really been to more places than maybe the outlet centre and the cinema. That's about it, really. <laughs> But it's just a nice place to live. It's not mm. about like where you go and what's involved. Mm. That's why you have a car. That's why you have trains. That's why you have transport. Go out and you need to sometimes when you go out shopping and you want to get away from home. You want to go out. Mm. So why would you want to live bang centre? Yeah, so the only time I've seen Ashford was um, Ashford International and then I've done that tank, the 10k run in Ashford. Oh yeah. So I, I, I did see quite was a bit Was there some beautiful sights? <laughs> I don't know. I was puffing and panting my way around. <laughs> Didn't really pay much attention. It was quite warm. There's a place called Aldington in Ashford, which is where um, people in England go and rent out cottages. Oh, really? It's, it's that beautiful. So I always mention that to Ben as well. <laughs> Where's that in Maidstone? I try not to get defensive of Maidstone. No, no. <laughs> So, um, but, I, but I didn't have anything against Maystone until Ben started this bicker. So no, sorry beef. to any Maystonians. There's, <laughs> there's beef now. <laughs> But Create Festival yes. is the 28th of July, mm-hmm. which is um, Sunday coming. Um, and I've wanted to do this for five years. I wanted to do it when I was in Hibiscus. Mm. So it means a lot to me because I really wanted to get Hibiscus on there. But because we didn't have like as much as Mooley's got, because mm. obviously the guitarist is Gary Newman's guitarist. Yeah, Mooley. that's right. Yeah. The drummer, he's he's played with so many amazing people Ben's played with amazing people all I had to do is write that on paper and it's one isn't you're it in. so you, you're, you're in. headlining or you're um, quite Dodgy's f- headlining Do- Dodgy's headlining yeah right. they're a band from I think the 80s the 90s or 90s, 80s or 90s yeah. Yeah. yeah and um, so even that I was like oh you don't get that in Mason do you <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna talking be to down like... Ashford but how come they got Dodgy headlining <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's going to be like, what, 30,000 people? No, 3,000. Yeah. 3, oh, sorry. I, thought I, was, I was going to say, where are you, Glastonbury? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, heard, I thought I heard 30. No, no three. there's, a, there's been 3,000 people there. Mm. So for Ashford, it's, I, I, when I worked in when I worked full time, I always missed it as well. Mm. I think I made, I think, two of them. But I always got put on the day working. I felt they'd done it on purpose. Yeah, but that's the main reason why I left my job because they said to me, I said, I got Create Festival. I was so excited, I had buzzing from my fingers. More like hadn't felt that feeling in ages because I was so tired. Mm. Um, and um, I went into work and I told them, and they were like, "No, you can't do that day because there's people on holiday, so you can't do it." <laughs> and I was like, "Well, I work around it a lot. Do a little bit in the morning. Do it. I'll help out." No, I think you need to make a choice. It's either work Jeez. or singing. That's insane, isn't so, it? Do you think people you work with would be like really supportive of you? Oh mm. no. Oh no, no. A couple of places I've worked in the past just want to stamp it out of you. You know, yeah. you, I don't your want, life should be I, about where you work. And my manager it. didn't even say goodbye to me. Wow. That's how much. Whoa. we did. That's insane. But I was her Cinderella slave. I was such a slave. And um, because obviously I like to please people and I'm 100% in everything I do and I'm very loyal, but it was impossible to do that for two things because of for the shop, she wanted me to be 100%, and and for Mooley, Ben wanted me to be 100%. And obviously, I knew I know what I wanted, I wanted to do Mooley, but I also need to pay bills at the end of the day, yeah. Mm. And um, she had she just had me under her thumb, and I I said to the guy, I went, I actually said, text the guy that um, organizing create. I said, I can't do it because I can't get it off work. <laughs> and he was like, nonsense. He was like, you serious? You can't do this? Like, and even he knew because in the email I sent him, I was like, I really, really want to do this. Mm. And I've dragged, it's, I've dragged all these people down from London and Surrey and Ben who've played massive like gigs. They've played with famous people. And I was like, I know that's quite mean of me to do a little to, uh, a festival in Ashford, but I, I, this is something I've always wanted to do, mm. and I need to get it off my tick list. And um, he was like, "You can't let her do that. You can't do that." And I was like, "I'm a little bit of a Cinderella here." And he went, "Well, tell her that <laughs> <laughs> that this Cinderella has found her shoe, and she's going to the ball." Nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and I was like "Oh, he actually cares." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "There's someone that actually cares about." Like, because obviously, in, when you're at work, like in a shop, for instance, you're just a number, and no one really mm. cares about what you care about. Mm. And um, it's in music, I feel like everyone cares. Yeah, because everyone's like, there. Like because... when when you, I was emailing you, and you were like, "What do you want, like for drink and food?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, they care." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to people that care. I'm used to people going, "Do this, do that, do this, do that." It's quite just, nice to stick two fingers up. When though. it's something that you're passionate about though it, it, it like that's yeah. that's yeah. the that's the default setting isn't it it's like well we've got to try and make people as comfortable as possible we've got to try and support people as much as possible and yeah oh i, I had a little breakdown at work and i and i said enough's enough and then mm. i went on holiday for two weeks and then i handed my notice in i did act, i had to do four weeks of hell do of notice <laughs> that's mm. the worst isn't that it? is the oh. <clears throat> when they know you're leaving or yeah. when you know you're or leaving when you know that it's like you're counting the days I was and the counting hours. the days yeah. I wasn't even counting the days because the days were too long so I counted the shifts right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it, oh it was absolute hell and Ben on my last day Ben was texting me through it he was going you're doing the right thing you're um, just keep faith because mm, like there must that. have been that thing where like I'm not going to be working anymore. Yeah, How I won't am I going to get by income. kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How am I going to feed my dog? <laughs> 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 Luckily, with singing, you can go and do covers and you can go busking and you yeah. can... Mm. And I've got all the all the intention to right. go out there and earn money, but no one needs to know so about that see, part of we me. Could, we could see you on the streets of Ashford. Maybe. I, I have... Yeah, that's, what, that's the real test. Go mm. busking Ashford, then busking Mason, yeah, see yeah. where you get more money. Um, yeah. I met a lady, <laughs> an amazing lady, and she's... Cause I do like to class myself as a hippie. Mm. I, I love the mentality of hippies i just love everything about them and i i met this random lady her name's sarah she's she's a uh, my grandma's neighbor and she you know one of them people that just i, I fell in love with her within two seconds mm. and she was like 
felt a, a connection with me straight away and she's like I've heard lots about you she doesn't stop talking about you and your singing and um she um told me about her unrealistic list and her to-do list mm. and her realistic to-do list and I've got to write my top 10 and um obviously I've I've started doing them and um I've forgotten where I was going with this now as well <laughs> but um it happens ba- but basically um one of my realistic lists was to leave my job. Mm. Something you could do and just, quite easily. Yeah. But I didn't know how I was going to support myself, but yeah. I still don't. Still going to work it out. Do you know what? I don't care. Because mm. you're doing what you like. And no, I'm not signing on. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone's going, you should sign on. And I was like, actually, I left my job and... I ha- you're not allowed to. I'm not allowed to and I don't want mm. to either. Yeah. I just want... Because it. I just want to sing that's all I want to do so mm. I want, oh that's what the realistic list is to go busking and learn guitar learn guitar first and go busking and I wanted to do an Aust- like go Australia for a month and just busk go out right. there and just busk with my guitar but it's proving a little bit difficult because I thought I'd have time to learn I was guitar gonna say, are you gonna I don't it's really hard I'm just literally gonna have to pick up the guitar as much as I can and learn my chords and things but just I am four ju- chords is enough I think yeah, isn't it? It's I know four chords but I just don't know how to travel from one chord to another mm. it's difficult that's one of the th- the quick changes is one this of the is why I, I used played to bass it. yeah ba- <laughs> basics really I was watching it one I was like, finger <laughs> one finger <laughs> yeah but when you play punk well yeah, one this is that din, 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 din. yeah it's, it's you know you got to be smooth though true you have to be smooth you can't be like Dong. kind of <laughs> If you um, yeah, if you're if you're in a band that you know <laughs> isn't ours, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Um, that's the hour one. Should right. we call that one? Yeah. And okay. Record um, another. Well, Maybe. we haven't we haven't touched on the album, so we're gonna have to. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for anywhere but here this week, uh, that's it. Next time you'll hear from Christina, it will be about the album, the forthcoming album. Yeah, which is and called a bit more on the scene. Dream Chasing. Dream, Dream chasing. chasing. Right. So for this week, that's been anywhere but here. I've been Tom. I've been Ant. And I've been Christina. <laughs> Bye. Bye.